posted by Emotional Remote for 117. Am I the butthole? For charging my GF a service fee for handling the bills. Me and my GF live together and I generally handle all the bills. We split everything down the middle, but I get the mail, make sure they are paid on time, and all that. I just let her know how much the bills are and she pays me half at the end of the month. Anyways, I started telling her the total was like 3-5% to higher than it actually is. I figured places charge a service fee for a credit card really is for the convenience so it makes sense to do the same for me. She found out after a year and a bit and is demanding I pay her back for the extra. It's like $50 but over a whole year so it's not like it's a lot. Am I the butthole? And now to the comments. Drink Deep likes to add you the butthole. Really, dude? Come the F on. It's not a service you provide, it's a chore that you handle. You must be insufferable. Think of 321 commented. So it's important enough for you to think about it every single month and to lie to her about, but when she wants it back, it's only $50 and it's not like it's a lot. Don't downplay what you did. You betrayed her trust, and if it's just a small amount, it's even more sh asterisk tty that you were willing to lie to get it. You the butthole. A comment from Sunaday 306. You the butthole, this is a relationship, not a bank. Your GF shouldn't have to worry about hidden fees. Ish. A comment from Accident Zestiklo 62. You the butthole. That's actually theft. The Desai Tomorrow commented. What the F, you the butthole? It does not matter if it's $50. It's an odd and shady thing to do. Faces that charge a fee tell you they charge a fee. I wouldn't look at someone the same way if I found out they were secretly making me pay extra. A comment from House of Levisks. You the butthole. What is wrong with you? A comment from Gut Whisperer to 169. You the butthole, you're also a liar and a thief. If you got a phone slash credit card slash literally any service and got charged something you'd expect it to be on your bill, right? And if you went through your list of charges and didn't find it, would you just be okay that they charged you an extra 3 minus 5% and didn't tell you? Even if it was only like $50 for the year? Would you stay with that company who lied and charged you extra? If I was OP partner, I wouldn't walk, ID are you in out of that relationship. A comment from Satisfaction Goal 74 you the butthole should she take $200 from your wallet after UFK. To the next post. Posted by Imam in 22. Am I the butthole? For not hosting a party my wife planned earlier this week when I had planned long ago to only play video games this weekend. So Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom came out today on the Nintendo Switch and I have been looking forward to it and planning for this game for years. Zelda has always held a place in my heart where I can escape the mundane of daily life, especially as an adult who works a full-time job, pays the bills, etc. No kids in the household, it's just me and my wife. Starting six or so months ago, I told my wife that when this game came out, I would essentially become a hermit and go into a hole for the entire weekend of its release. I would eat, sleep, breathe Zelda. I continued to reiterate to her my plans every time the topic came up and even more so as the game got closer to release. I took time off of work as I put this on my work calendar as soon as I knew the launch date. Fast forward to earlier this week, I reminded her again that I would essentially disappear this weekend to do what I want to do which is to play the new game all weekend. She then plans a movie night with a bunch of neighbours for tonight, on launch day. I made sure to clean up the house, do the dishes and even did like four loads of laundry and reorganized the linen closet in preparation for this weekend. The time for the party rolled around and I took a break from playing, made all the popcorn and set everything up in our home theatre for her and then went back to play my game. As guests showed up I welcomed them in and showed them the way to the theatre room and continued to play my game. When the movie was over I greeted them again as they left and then I helped clean up the kitchen on another short break. Fast forward to now, my wife is mad at me for playing my game dances while she hosted the movie night alone. She said it was weird and stupid that I couldn't carve out a couple hours for this movie night. It's just a stupid video game she's saying. I reminded her that I made my plans for this weekend months ago and that what I did does not contradict what I've been telling her I would do for months now. So am I the butthole? 
for playing my new game while she hosted the movie night. And now to the comments. Diminish and Patience likes to add. Not the butthole. She arranged this when she had known for months what your plans were. You did a lot of preparation for her event, took breaks to speak to her guests and even helped to clean up after her event. She is being utterly unreasonable. She said it was weird and stupid that I couldn't carve out a couple hours for this movie night. I'm afraid that this was done deliberately. It's just a stupid video game she's saying. Yes, deliberately. Shadi SHD commented. Not the butthole. It'll be the minority by saying regardless of what you were doing, you already planned it and told her said plans. You also did help with the party, so it's not like you didn't do anything. A comment from Steve from KZ. It's just a stupid video game she is saying. Tell her the alternative was just a stupid movie. She openly disrespected your wishes and your hobby, then had the audacity to be mad at you. I would have a long talk with her. This does not sound good and maybe something else is happening. A comment from Top Pat 2038. Not the but all. Six months of repeatedly warning her should have really gotten the message over. Etta, after some thought, I am beginning to wonder if this was premeditated. Did she do this just to mess up your Zelda weekend with malice of forethought? If so, why? Psychonautic Primate likes to add. Not the butthole. Wife Trina pulled some poop. You did your part. And gave ample warning. Miss Vinchetti 7 likes to add. You're not the butthole. You had important plans for you that you were clear about for a long time and which were dictated by the date of release. You didn't stop her having a movie night and even assisted in elements of it, despite having these pre-arranged important plans being disrupted to do so. You were more than reasonable and she was actually pretty disrespectful to you and is still being disrespectful. She's not acknowledging video games because she thinks they are silly which is not the point. They are important to you and it isn't as though they are controlling your life. This was a particular event for which you planned. I don't like video games. My husband does. When a new game is released that he's excited about, he sets aside time to play it and it's fine with me. I'm even happy for him to tell me about the game. Why? Because this is his thing and it means something to him. I've even found a couple of games I am okay with to play with him. That's what you do in a relationship. To the next post. Posted by Magnificent Teapot. And I the butthole. For refusing to pay for my ex's kids. My ex was very controlling and manipulative and one of the things he wanted was joint finances. He had joint finances with his ex, the mother of his children, and when he left her he refinanced all of their debt into her name. Because she had custody of the kids and he only had visitation slash them come to stay on weekends this meant he had pay her a set amount of money each month for child maintenance. We used to argue a lot over him trying to control my finances. We were also supposed to be getting married and buying a house together. He used to tell me that I couldn't afford to buy the nice things I was used to anymore because once our finances were joined I had have to start contributing towards his child maintenance payments. I had have to buy cheaper cars and clothes etc. I point bank refused to agree with this and he used to say things like he knew I had kids when you got with me and everyone knows that when you get with someone that has kids you have to make sacrifices. I suggested that we just keep our finances separate even once we were married, but he wouldn't agree to this. Obviously birthdays and Christmas etc. I was more than happy to go 50 slash 50 on. I just didn't see why I should be contributing towards his child maintenance payments. So am I the butthole for refusing to give up the nice things I am used to help pay for my ex-partner's kids? Asterisk asterisk update asterisk asterisk. I had just like to clarify this person is now an ex. I packed his bags and kicked him out several months ago. We were together for about a year. Things moved very fast. For age reference we were both early to mid 30s. For the comments saying I suck for being with him when there was this massive red flag he was very manipulative and mentally aberring. The relationship destroyed who I was as a person and left me with no confidence or self worth. We are taking full on narcissists mixed with personality disorder. If you leave me alone alive myself was one of his favorite tricks. 
At one point I had a mental breakdown because of the stuff he was putting me through. It has taken me several months to get back to myself but I now look back and victim blame myself and wonder if I was being unreasonable. This is apparently a common thing with victims of any sort of abu. Deep down I know the issues were all him, but part of me still needs the confirmation from other people. What do you think? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And now to the comments. A comment from a random walk in space. You'd be the butt to yourself if you married that idiot. But not the butthole for this. Reasonable at minus 3605 commented. Everybody sucks here. Obviously your ex is a manipulative controlling butt. But you're in butt for willingly being with a guy who refinanced all of their debt into her name. That is just vile. Travacat67 likes to add. Not the butthole but run. It does not strike you that he financially ruined his ex through what I assume amounts to fraud. This guy is a loser. I never go straight to dump the whole man, but there's always a first time for everything. Dump this dude. Folks and Pinna1776 likes to add. Not the butthole. Keep all your finances separate. It is his responsibility to pay child maintenance, not yours. A comment from Old Fox Minus 3027. I don't see how you need a judgment on something that isn't even happening anymore, but not the butthole. It's not your responsibility to pay his child support. Kali Jada Hunter commented. Not the butthole your ex's kids are his responsibility, not yours. He just wanted you to contribute so he wouldn't have to pay. He wants the goods but not the responsibility. You were wise not to give in to that. Airy Dare likes to add. Not the butthole. He looks like fun. Did he refinance all his debt into your name after you broke up? Dependent Progress 28 likes to add. Not the butthole. Also thank god he's an ex. To the next post. Posted by Anonymous. Am I the butthole? For denying my boyfriend a once in a lifetime experience just to be stubborn. I get free tickets to events in the US each year. Keeping it vague for privacy, but box seats at popular sports games and up close seats at well-known concerts. Each year I get X amount of tickets. My boyfriend wanted to quit smoking and I told him if he did we could celebrate with tickets to X event. He was excited for that and came up with a plan to quit. A month later, I saw that had made no progress and said I guess I'll invite your sister to the Taylor Swift concert then, since you're not making an effort to quit anymore. He got upset and said that it's not fair to tie the tickets to smoking and I should invite him to some of my free events just to be nice slash share the experience with my boyfriend. I said we could discuss doing more than one a year when he quit smoking, but not before. He got upset and said it was really rude of me to hold the tickets over his head and instead of tying it to smoking, we should just go together. I am holding my ground and he's holding his. Am I the butthole? For denying him these experiences until he quits smoking. I've never smoked cigarettes, so maybe I am just unsympathetic. Edit, he wants to quit, but he's been saying that for years. I am not forcing him into anything. A lot of the votes so far are you the butthole, so if that continues to be the consensus, boyfriend has lots of events ahead of him and a heartfelt apology from me. And now to the comments. The Forgotten Advocate likes to add. Not the butthole, you made the terms clear at the beginning. It's his own fault for starting smoking in the first place and the longer he carries on, the harder quitting will be. Sick to your guns, OP. OP commented. He's been doing it for 10 plus years, and it's a lot of cigarettes, not just one or two a day. But definitely reading everyone's thoughts to see if maybe I am being too harsh. Express sucking a 6177 likes to add. Not the butthole. You had a clear deal. Giving up smoking isn't easy, I know. I've done it, but it is impossible if you don't even TRI. I am sure if he was making the attempt, I'd reconsider, but he isn't. When trying to get a loved one to give up an unhealthy habit, you've got the carrot reward if happens or stick orange until they do adoption. Him not getting to go to something he wants is a bit of both, but he still wants to smoke more. Hope he likes to add. 
How did you quit, if you don't mind me asking? I am at my wit's end and I really want to help him. I give him a likes to add. Not the butthole. You all made an agreement. He reneged after he made no effort towards his end of the deal. However, I wouldn't say it's fair to hold all future events against him. Either way, he's going to need your support to quit. Maybe try to come up with a reward system together with manageable benchmarks instead of one big reward sometime down the road. The Ambutus Sneeze commented. Not the butthole. Sounds like you should have already dumped him. These YT judgments are bizarrely missing the point that he agreed to this arrangement enthusiastically and you are not being manipulative by enforcing smoking being a deal breaker. A comment from Favourite Bookmark. Everybody sucks here. It was clear to him that he got the tickets if he followed your terms and conditions. He didn't follow your terms and conditions, he does not get the tickets. But the whole, if you do this you get a reward reminds me of how you would train a dog. And also, you can never control how someone acts or the decisions they make, which is what you are trying to do, and the results are just you treating him like a child. To the next post. Hosted by Smoke5789. Am I the butthole for cancelling dinner for Mother's Day after my mother said we didn't get her what she wanted for Mother's Day? This year for Mother's Day the boys in the house decided to get her things for ND. My father noticed my mom needed a new flat iron cause only side was burning and so he went and out got her a brand new CHI model. My brother and I decided to splurge on a 100 roses from a shop and make it look all nice dandy with a card. We planned dinner for her at this not too expensive restaurant we like going to. She received her things the past few days and enjoyed them and posted them on Facebook for her her friends to see. Well today my father asked her is she enjoying her flowers and she snapped I guess she went on a rant saying this isn't what she wanted and that we never asked what she wanted and proceeded to call me and gripe about it to me too. She got mad at all of us obviously and I took it personally and told her she's being unreasonable and very ungrateful and that we spent good money trying to make it special for her it's the thought that counts though. Well she said she didn't like anything she received and so we decided to cancel dinner tonight and my father's gonna return the product and the now she's throwing an even bigger hit fit. Am I the butthole? Edit, a flat iron is a straightener for your hair. Where I am from we call it that. Also we did ask her what she wanted and she said I don't know so we took it upon ourselves to see things that maybe she needed and that was it and she loves flowers. Update as well, my father finally got hold of her and she's saying she's been eyeing the LV purse. Those tend to be expensive so we'll see how that goes. Another update, I decided to take my GF out to have a few drinks and dinner instead. Thank you all for listening. Another update, Pops and brother still took her to the restaurant for dinner, but since I didn't attend him I'll be the bad person now and I might have to hear from you know who wish me luck. And now to the comments. Miss it for 116 likes to add. Not the butthole your mom sounds in title F. A comment from OP. Tell me about it. Stray's mom likes to add. Not the butthole. Your dad noticed mom needed a new flat iron cause the only side was burning and so he went and out got her a brand new CHA model. You and bro got her 100 roses. And plan to take her out to dinner. All of the gifts sound nice, BTW. Your mom could have started hinting about what she wanted for ND because duh, you are not mind readers. Instead of saying thank you she threw a fit like an ungrateful toddler. And then doubled them with her tantrum when the flat iron was returned and dinner was cancelled. Close to the round commented. Update as well. My father finally got a hold of her and she's saying she's been eyeing this LV purse. Those tend to be expensive so we'll see how that goes. Oh god please don't reward her selfish tantrum. OP commented. A flat iron is a hair tool, not iron for close y'all. A comment from Extinct Diplodocus. Not the bottle. Seems a shame you all never saw those invisible hoops you were supposed to jump through. Huge Pewd 8244 likes to add. I was ready to say the butthole, but if she wouldn't tell you what she wanted, what were you supposed to do? An LV purse is nowhere near the budget for two sons. She is being ridiculous, and I wouldn't want to spend a dinner listening to her gripe and whine either. Not the butthole. Artistic Nebulamina 6051 commented. Not the butthole at what universe is it okay to shame people for a gift? 
No one is guaranteed a gift that is given freely. People who demand things outside of people's budgets or demand a specific gift don't deserve a gift period. That is all I have for you today. I hope you liked it. If you liked this video, please consider liking and sharing. Have a nice day and hopefully I see you soon.